Hi, I'm Nagdan Sari and in this video I'm gonna talk about everything about collision and collision events. Let's begin. To be honest, for creating this video, I, uh, it's my third record and it's hard to explain this but this time I will do my best to explain it clear as possible because Unreal Engine 5 has a lot of things and it has a lot of tools and you can simply confuse, okay? And I, I'm trying my best to explain it clear as it can get, right? So let's just start. You can see we have some box in here we have some uh, for example this chair box we have a lot of things in our scene okay and i'm gonna talk about collision okay so if we select this chair for example and go to collision in here you can see it has property that is important for us one is simulating simulation generate hit event and generate overlap event so what what the hit event is overlap event let me explain it please just watch it till the end this video is too much important to skip you can see this chair when we run our game it will block us okay we, we, we can push it and it will block us we can't go through it and what it means it means it blocking our character what is our character is just a pawn class child of pawn class okay the character class is just a pawn class okay that has some movement in it so it will block us you can see it if any object block us and we hit it like this it can generate a hit event but if we can go through an object okay it will create an, an overlap event so in this case because the chair is blocking our character it should create a hit event so let me show how you can do that so we have this chair we select it and in here we say simulation simulation generate hit event we check it okay so whenever our pawn class or whatever that is blocking by this chair hit this chair or collide with this chair it will generate a hit event for getting that event if you open up for example this level blueprint and right click in here you know it from before we can we can create a reference to that chair but in this case i want to create a collision node for hitting at an actor hit so whenever something that is blocked by this chair hit this chair or collide with this chair this on actor hit will trigger this execution pin so for example let's just print some okay and what i'm going to show you in uh, show in this text i want to show the other actor that is colliding or hitting this chair okay so let's just connect this to here and you can see it get the display name of that actor that is colliding or hitting our chair right so with that let's just compile and run our game you can see it's colliding with floor okay the floor hit our chair or our chair hit our floor okay and if we hit this chair no you can see that it will generate a hit event for floor and for our character and it will show it and you can see it right so that was it for hit event whenever something collide with this chair that is this chair is blocking that it will create a hit event and you can see it it created over and over again so next thing in this collision is generate overlap event so this overlap event won't happen for all the actors and objects that is blocking by this chair okay so if you check this nothing will happen when our character hit this chair it won't create a overlap event why because this chair is blocking our character this sphere so because our character can't overlap it can't go through this chair it won't create overlap event okay for creating overlap event we should set this chair to overlap our character or our pawn okay so let's just disable this simulate generate hit event and enable this generate overlap event in here so for this chair to generate overlap event player or character or pawn should be able to go through this chair to generate a overlap event so for that if we select our chair there is a property in here that called collision preset and you can see it's set to physics actor and there are some uh preset in here that we don't want to use any of them i want to use custom in custom you can create all of these presets your for your own right so in here i set it to custom and there is an option in here that called collision enabled so if you set it to collision enable query and physics with this you can decide what can hit this actor or object what can go through it right but if you set it to physics only it's just block the physics and it has hit event because physics only and if you set it to query only it will just generate overlap event and it won't collide with anything so i put it at query only and if you run our game you can see the chair go through everything right 
So let's just back to collision enabled query and physics. And in here, um, the, the thing that I want to change, I want to change this chair to overlap with over pond by doing by checking this. So this chair now, because we check it from here, it will overlap with over pond. If we run our game now, you can see that our character now can overlap with the chair and now it can generate overlap event. But remember, if you go to your character, you can see it has capsule component, it has a sphere, a static mesh in it. And in capsule component, if you go to collision, you can see that the, the object type is pawn. Okay. And if you go to the sphere, you can see that the object type is pawn as well. Okay. So for this character to overlap with our chair, it should be a pawn because we set this chair to overlap with pawns. Okay. So for creating a collision event for overlapping, okay? So we should check this generate overlap event for both of the, the actor that want to overlap with each other, right? So in this, in here, it will generate overlap as well. So you should check both of them. For both actors or object should generate overlap be enabled. So it will generate overlap event. So now if we go to our blueprint in here let's just delete that head event in here right click and in here add a another collision for add on actor begin overlap so whenever something overlapping with this sm chair it should print something for example and let's just get the actor that is overlapping with this object and get the name of that and print it to the screen, right? So now if we compile and run our game, you can see whenever we collide with this chair, it's, it says <laughs> our name, right? So again, you can see it. When we collide with it, it will show the name in top left corner, right? The next property that I'm going to show you is this object type that we briefly talk about it. This object type is just for telling the uh, Unreal Engine 5 to, for example, uh, block this type of object or overlap with it or ignore it, right? So there are some type in here, for example, pawn, vehicle, projectile. There is a lot of them in here, but we can create our own. For example, let's just go to edit project setting in collision. In here, in object channel, create a new object type. I want to call it chair, for example. And I have set the default response to block everything, right? So no that we have this if we unselect this chair and select it again now we can select the object type to be chair okay so now if we just this box over top of our chair let's just put it top of our chair it's close enough so if we change the collision preset in here to custom and in here set to overlap the chair now if we run our game it will overlap the chair you can see it it clearly overlap the chair and you can see it it worked correctly but if we say to block the chair if we run it again you can see it will block each other and you can see it block each other right and we can say to ignore all the object type of chair and if we run it it will ignore it but it won't create a, a overlap event and that was all for this video i hope it was clear for you for you how collision events and collisions work in Unreal Engine 5 please if you have any question ask in comment i will answer first and i will create a video about your question it's my honor to have you at the end of this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye